हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द फर्स्ट एडिशन ऑफ उद्यम चर्चा आई हैव आदित्य हियर हु इज जस्ट ट्वेल्थ पास एंड वी हैव मिस्टर अखिल हु इज आदित्य टीचर ऑल्सो विथ अस टूडे फॉर उद्यम चर्चा आदित्य सो यू केम अप विथ अ वेरी इनोवेटिव प्रोडक्ट सो वॉट वॉज द ट्रिगर बिहाइंड दिस पर्टिक्युलर इनोवेशन सो सर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक ए आई सी टी एंड एम आई सी फॉर गिविंग अस दिस opportunity and when i talk about the trigger so uh, uh, back in when i was in 8th standard i developed a project which was for which was for paralyzed people what it did was it captured their brain waves and then it moved a wheelchair which they were sitting on so basically they moved a wheelchair with their uh, brain so if they thought that we have to now move the wheelchair forward the wheelchair went forward because the sensors were capturing their brain signals and left right and so and so forth so in that project itself we had this uh, for communication purposes for them as well so it captured their eye movement and then converted it to their uh, respected voices of languages so back in when i was in 10th standard i decided that it would be better to uh, develop it as a separate product because it would then ben- be beneficial for non paralyzed individual as well who are non verbal and com- can't communicate wi- uh, normally via speech and how did you uh, solve this particular problem what was the key problem and how did you solve the problem so this device is basically for non verbal and paralyzed people what it does is it goes on to their uh, glasses frame and then it starts to capture their eye movement and after capturing their eye movement there is a special computer behind the head it converts uh, that eye movement into speech so we have our own uh, software running inside of it which converts that eye movement into voices of any of their chosen language so where it will fit on your glasses can you just show on yeah. your glasses so uh, let's say they are wearing glasses uh, any of their prescribed lens so the device would actually sit on their stem and oh. there would be very small sensor of 5 mm uh, right on to their uh, inside or outside of their glasses which would continuously capture the blink of their eyes so uh, this part of our eye is actually white in color so it uh, reflects uh, light more frequently but when we shut our eyes then there is a change in ir uh, bounceness of the light so that sensor actually captures that uh, change in frequency and then it sends it to our computer which is running the software okay so uh, a teacher plays very important role in students journey uh, <laughs> akhil ji uh, like uh, what was uh, your experience uh, guiding aditya sir as he have told that he started his journey from 8th standard yes uh, I still remember that when he used to come in at tinkering lab I used to say tumhe karna kya hai kya karoge tum matlab kya banaoge tum to he used to say that sir mujhe pehle ek glass banana hai wo he used to come with some cutting glasses and 3d printer bhi tha we have were having 3d printers he used to work on 3d prints so um, uh, at the inception time he was uh, he wanted to make something but he doesn't know that how to make the thing so my role was guiding him showing him the way showing him the path so showing him telling him the correct way the steps which he should follow to reach his uh, prototypic go- goal that how uh, how how to reach at this stage uh, so uh, i feel that yes uh, uh, as a student a student must have a, have a zeal or enthusiasm to do as a teacher might scold because a teacher has a lot of things also apart from uh, uh, like in uh, working in a tilt tinkering labs and they they have other academic thing things also okay. the, uh, the best part about aditya was that even when i scold him na he used to listen to me again besharam tha to usme sun leta tha so um, as a teacher i i feel that um, yes uh, uh, showing the correct way it's the work of a teacher uh, to do <laughs> Well, wow, I really appreciate that that shamelessness part of uh, entrepreneurial mindset is very important. So, did you bunk classes and uh, you worked on yes. your projects, multiple projects like that? Yes, sir. so I actually faced a lot of heat in my school because I always used to uh, bunk classes and go specifically to Atel Lab to develop my products. and all the teachers in charge was always behind my back scolding me and they also used to call my parents that uh, he is not doing classes is not doing good in uh, his grades and so on and so forth so i always faced heat throughout my journey in atl lab 
अभी क्या सोचते हैं आपके टीचर्स आपके बारे में नाउ द परस्पेक्टिव हैज चेंज ड्रास्टिकली बिकॉज नाउ दे सी द आउटकम सो दे रियलाइज कि यस इट वॉज राइट एट दैट टाइम दैट ही यूज टू गो ही यूज टू पुट द टाइम इन टू देयर एज वेल एंड नाउ दे हैव द प्रोडक्ट्स इन फ्रंट ऑफ देयर आईज टू सी द चेंज वंडरफुल वंडरफुल एंड हाउ डू यू वॉन्ट टू टेक दिस प्रोडक्ट अ हेड टू द मार्केट सो राइट नाउ वी डू हैव प्रूफ ऑफ कॉन्सेप्ट but the uh, proof of concept works with uh, while wearing it and it all works perfectly but uh, to establish it as a product in the market we need to develop it further to fit the market properly because uh, right now one of the major factor which is drawing us back into not releasing it in the market is that it's too bulky for a person to always wear it there are many pointers like it's not waterproof right now it's not agile it's not uh, um, compact enough so a person could wear it so before launching it in the market in the new future we would develop it more we will design our own custom boards which would suit the need of the indian market at first and we'll also try our best to minimize and rigify this product so that it is very rigid and could be used in multiple ways and could handle the stress it is put into oh wonderful i was told that you are trying to pursue your design course in future and uh, you are also working with some company okay can you just uh, uh, elaborate little yeah. more on that so right after 12 boards my last board exam was maths so it was on 9th march and i was doing internships back when i was in 11th so i was doing continuously paid internships in company after companies so uh, right so while you are preparing for your engineering or design you were doing internships also yeah so i was doing internship uh, keeping all the things aligned so when i completed my board exam i had two offers from two companies one in gurgaon and one in noida so i ended up choosing noida one uh, because it was much more convenient for me to travel uh, noida so uh, up and down so i ended up choosing it and it was a emerging markets so i am right now a virtual reality developer so it was i saw it as an emerging market so i chose that as my option what's your age right now i am 18 and you are a virtual reality developer yes. and you went for the internship or the work you said uh, offline in the office i uh, know so my internships were primarily uh, work from home itself work from home yes and what drives you for all these kind of things uh, it's just uh, I get a feeling of satisfaction and joy working uh, on these projects. That's the major driver for me and also when I see it bringing a very a positive outcome for individuals uh, rather than me itself. So it's very enjoyable to see other people also benefit from the things I develop throughout my journey. That's what keeping me driven throughout my journey. How do you look at this kind of things that 11 standards doing uh doing internship and now he is trying to do uh, maybe work for a company full time what is your message uh, for your fellow teachers uh, sir uh, like uh, when you asked him na ki bunk uh, have you ever bunked the classes he said that many teachers used to complain sir uh, i uh, i i also used to listen to, uh, from a teacher from his teach class teacher said akhil sir what you are doing his marks are not good all this they used to complain to me also because the, he most of the time when he come to school he used to sit with me in the lab work over there only so the message is that even uh, a student is very poor in academics it doesn't mean that he is not doing good in his life so if he will be uh, doing good in some other thing so his passion is making things innovative uh, stuff he used to make so why not to encourage it and i would like to thank my school principal for that that she has created an environment that she has never forced anyone to do this thing only so the part of the class teacher was also correct that it was her duty also to uh, if she is a math teacher she also wants her child to uh, do good in math so it was doing uh, it was her part of the duty to complain me as well but i feel that if the child is doing good in specific field 
then we should encourage and our principal was always encouraging aditya today also even if you have passed out my principal always used to tell him that you are always welcome to the school and even uh, today also when he is working as to some other company he used to call me sir atl lab mein agar kuch hai to sir mujhe ye chahiye wo chahiye so i used to help him with that also okay you come in atl lab uh, you can, you want to cut some part okay you do this wow. thing you want to make some product from 3d printer you come here <laughs> so we used to do that so uh, the message to a uh, fellow teachers is that ki uh, if a child observe the child if the child is having a passion into one thing don't force that child to uh, uh, to become good in their subject also understand what the child is good in so that wonderful it. wonderful couple of rapid fire for you aditya elon musk mark zuckerberg elon musk wonderful what are your hobbies uh gaming and making games gaming and making games, games. yes AI, AR, AR, AR. Yes, because that's the field I'm working in. <laughs> okay, design, engineering. Design. Wonderful. What's your fa- favorite snacks? Momos. Momos. Wow, wonderful. And what is that uh, one one line uh, message for our school kids, uh, our student entrepreneurs? Uh, one line message. It's just do what. Uh, joys you more people would say what they have experience in their life now things are evolving so do what completes you the most inside wonderful aditya and akhil uh, thank you so much for uh, joining uh, us for mic udyam charcha here at aict thank you so much and wish you all the best wish both of you all the best uh, for spreading this entrepreneurial mindset i will say yeah thank you so much